Let's get ready to podcast. Welcome to episode 22 of Transformers, the UK podcast. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm joined by some um, celebrious uh, celebrities of the Transformers world. Uh, Alexis, hello. How are you? Good afternoon. I'm well. Yourself? Ah, oh, Jolly D. Thanks, mate. Storm, how are you? Fantastic. Awesome. Andy? I'm, I'm good, good mate. Thanks. <laughs> good. And Ben. Ben, thanks for joining us. So Ben is uh, from the Transformers world, obviously, uh, but more specifically has some background expertise in our topic for later on tonight will be Transformers, uh, the trade tradable card game. So I'm really looking forward to that. And he's going to join us for pickups uh, and the news as well, which Alexis has lots and lots of uh, bits and bobs to go through. So hello, Ben. Welcome. Thank you for coming on. Hi guys, thanks for having me. Uh, very happy to try and spread the word of the card game. Um, you know, there's a big crossover between the Transformers community and people playing this game. And I know most of you are interested because you own or have dabbled in it to date. So yeah, really happy to be here to talk about the game. Cool, cool. Thank you for coming on. Right, so we'll do the news, uh, then we'll do our usual pickups, and then it'll be for some TCG hardcore chat. Um, loads of news this week. Alexis, where do you want to start off with? You are a commander of the pictures today for the YouTubes. Do you want me to go? If, if I if I guess whoever comes so up we'll first, just, whatever comes up first, let's let's, let's, let's do this. So much so, news. There's loads of news last week. His uh, internet search history. This will be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Using the internet where he finds these things. <laughs> yes. We go. All the kids so, use it these days. <laughs> so this is first. We've got um. This is Mech Fans Toys pictures by Shosy Store. Thank you for Shosy Store. Um, so this is Mech Fans Toys, um, and it's called Poisonous Smog, which is their version of Octane. And it looks pretty damn tasty, actually. Mm, and they're just knocking these out at the moment, because they just released uh, Astro Train, didn't they? Which mm. went up for pre-order, I think, last week or the week beforehand. Uh, Did you then... pre-ordered? Yep, Did yep, you? got mine on order. Uh, paid for, it should be here soon. And then this has come out. It's good because it'd be nice. If, it'd be nice if they actually did all the triple changes because I think the one which everyone has been looking for a decent one of representation is broadside. Um, so you know the popular ones always come first, but it'd be lovely to get all of them as well. Mm. Um, we haven't had a proper like legends or actually you probably could do uh, what's that? The, the a sorter was a, a take on it, wasn't it? A long time ago, but this is um, yeah, this is good, very articulate. Is that master nice accent? A sorter is, is Chuck, I would say. This, 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 isn't, on the, this is Legends. on the screen here. This is legend oh, size, legend? so right. so this will be about um, about five inches, um, which is perfectly adequate if you uh, you ask my wife. If you're French, um, <laughs> fit nicely in with your collection, then Paul. French people. Well, that looks quite nice in the truck mode, doesn't it? Yeah. So this one I felt had good, brilliant bot mode, a uh, really good uh, tanker mode, uh, and a really poor uh, plane mode. The plane mode for Octone has been rubbish on nearly every ah. single version of the character. I really, Apart really from like uh, Provider. Yeah, Provider's good. The plane, but that looks like somebody sat nice. on it. Yeah, so I've, I, I had um, I had Provider. <laughs> I've, I've now now got KFC's one. I haven't converted them <laughs> into plane mode yet. It was such an actual faff. He's actually so KFC's one's a really good rubber mode, and then I've realised other modes are actually fucking naff. <laughs> Yeah. So, um, so I did. I did have a provider a long time ago. And I sold him. I'm sort of semi regretting now. But again, he wasn't a big character for me. So, so that's that's um, the first one. Next one we've got, which I know is one of your favourites, Paul. You've got one of these already. In uh, its original colours, is Mac Magic Square, uh, Shattered Glass, Cyclonus. Mm. Yeah, he's the, so I, don't, I don't know much about Shattered Glass apart from the the opposite. So he's. Hot rod style colors because he's that kind of character, is he? Yeah, well, they're, they're, they're the, the heroic Decepticons against the evil Autobots, so the colors are kind of why do they call themselves Decepticons if they're heroic? Uh, it's, it's, a reverse, I, it's a reverse universe, it's a reverse universe. So, you so know, do the they call themselves Autobots then? Uh, no, yeah, so, so Prime, Prime has the um, so I've got the Shattered Glass Prime, and he's got on his it's quite cool on his on, on his arm, he's got to all or none, um, <laughs> and he's like the evil Prime, um. But uh, it's 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 the multiverse factor, isn't it? So there's yeah, meant to be, but, uh, what, they think well, there's at least four the multiverses, noise? and one one is a reverse universe. So there's actually like a reverse version of us in an alternative view. This is a genuine fact. They think there are at least four multiverses 
on what is the reverse of what is currently happening. So I don't know if that means. I think Paul may argue against there because he likes his physics. But... I do, and I'm, you know, Chapman put forward the multiverse theory, it's one which does make sense. I think for certain um, strands of physics, you need multiverse. But you mean there's a multiverse out there where Scotland wins at football? I don't know. Realistic. It just seems far fetched to me. <laughs> we we said multiverse, not 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 made up. <laughs> yeah. There's two. Yeah, there's just... there's the schools of thought. I think there's four, or there's the school yeah. of thought that there's one for every infinite. single decision. You there's, mean? There's, yeah, there's everything. four, or there's infinite. But I, think, I I believe there are. Yeah, I'm four. Why? I, think. <laughs> I don't know. Why not infinite? It, it, it makes if you, if you look into the science, it actually just. It genuinely makes sense to an extent. So, the but anyway, glass part or the dimensional thing. <laughs> They're both real. But I just wanted to know because I don't know anything about shattered glasses. Does that mean that Cyclonus can call himself a Decepticon in his universe? They do. An but there's yeah. a there's a background to it, Jamie, where where they they took they took on the name Decepticon because they were they were given it. Um, they were. They, the, the Autobots who were evil, kind of something along the lines of they, they wanted them to make out like the Decepticons were the evil ones. So oh. the Decepticons took on as a, like a badge of honor thing and they wear it and the Autobots are the evil ones and Wait. they're really nasty. Wait, and there's different, some there's different elements to the Shattered Glass. Yeah. There's different it's elements to Shattered Glass, isn't there? Because there was the Botcon comics and then there was, I think, That's a, where it started, wasn't it? Comics. The Botcon. I didn't realize yeah. that. And there's been, uh, you, know, um, tech, uh, you know, stories that are just. Uh, uh, not comic book, but actual just prose stories of, of what happens in it all. Um, but yeah, he's a heroic kind of Cyclonus rather than the evil version. The colours are good. I mean, you, you've got the actual original mould, haven't you, Paul? So what's that yeah. like? Yeah, he's a brilliant, oh, such a lovely Transformer. His, um, I mean, his Legend Skull and his alt mode's not amazing. His um, robot mode is brilliant. It's a brilliant robot mode. Took some lovely photos of it. He's very garish in these colours, but still will probably get him. Um, it blows, you're just so it used to him being square. purple, aren't you? And it does blow it uh, like the magic it... square, does blow um, the Mech Fan Stories version away, the knockoff version. So sort of, mm. you know, the way that the actual his actual nose cone folds folds into his oh, back. So he really, no, it does seem, no kibble. Like the shattered glass guys haven't got on to the idea of camouflage, have they? <laughs> yeah. mm. You could see him coming a mile away. Depends. It depends where he where he is though. If he's um, he's in a know, disco. In a solar storm. <laughs> he's in the seventies. He's fine. Yeah, exactly. I I do like how they've made him. Walk. I can never make my transformers walk. You know, if you want to pose him and walk him, you know what the key is? It's, it's, it's the... really hard. <laughs> One leg in front of the other. <laughs> Have the front leg straight. But if you put the front leg straight, fine, fine. Before, helps. if you've got a transformer to hand, try and make it in a walking pose and then show it on the camera. Like, the before best the end one of this for podcast. that is the Earthrise grapple. He's he's. Brilliant at uh, like being able to walk, put yeah. in walking poses. So I've, I've, I'm trying to do it with my um. This is as close as I've got with my with my prime. So sort of there's I can't quite get him to walk. So I've got him in a sort of almost like a that sort of pose. But um, walking really hard. <laughs> First you in drunk. Yeah, that's my <laughs> attempt. Sometimes it's just walking. Pretty good actually. Yeah, Maybe it's just I think, I think it's just around in the camera. Just me, actually. Anyway, All right. that looks good. You bunch of shelves. You bunch of shelves. It's interesting how he's done. I know we're focusing on this quite a lot, but it's interesting how he's done in hot, hot rod colours. I would, I would have thought Cyclonus was the opposite of hot, hot rod. You know, oh, um, he was, I would have thought he'd be he was exactly Magnus. You would think he'd be like. Um... Right. Moving on. Look at this bad boy. And everyone's really keen on the. Great Astro shuttle train, mode. So this is Zeta Astro Train, uh, which is a remold, uh, a re, well, they've, they've just reproduced, is it Toy World? Yeah, Toy World Space something. Yeah, because they've got Space Tron here. So Toy World, it was Space Man or something. The this is just being cool. announced. Uh, it's going to be 60 to 70 pounds-ish, so a lot cheaper than Thomas, which would be the fans' toys. You I can think get if you display this. him in an alt mode, you get this. Yeah. Because it's so much cheaper and the alt modes look good. Robot modes, I'm not convinced by. Yeah, I think you're right. It doesn't look that bad. It doesn't, it doesn't look that bad. It depends. It always is how much you love the character. Is there a hole what in this chest? To, what are you willing to invest? 
Um, yes, that's where his. It's, so the shield can go in or out. It's it, they designed it like this, obviously, but they can. It's like the original toy. Do you remember? Yeah. So if the shield goes in, it might cover up his purple boobs. I'd be up for mm. that. I, I think it's more um, interesting than some of the incarnations of Astro Train that we've had. I don't mind the robot mode. Uh, mm. the, the alt modes are definitely, you know, on point, especially for the price range. Mm. And you look at um, fans' toys, um, plane mode, uh, shuttle mode, it doesn't look good. It's, uh, I mean, for the price of fans' toys, I don't know how much it's going to be, what, £150, £180? And the shuttle mode looks the same as the Earthrise uh, uh, sorry, the uh, siege Astro Train. I think the, well, it's both, the only it? good, the only good triple changer, I think, which is a bit to be honest, that there isn't actually a good triple changer because if you look at all of them, if you look at Unique Toys, um, Swarder, his helicopter mode, brilliant. That's what I've got him posed in. Uh, car mode, sack of shit. Robot mode, okay. And then you look at all the different springers there are. No one nails the car right. Everyone, everyone goes for the helicopter. Not everyone gets a helicopter right as well. Oh, generation really hard Springer. Though, isn't it, for a triple changer to get all three mm. modes. Mm. You know, to get all three modes is in, in, incredibly difficult to, to nail them all. You kind of have to have some compromise somewhere. I think the Generation <laughs> Springer does all right, but it's a more IDW stylized version of it. And yeah, how big do you guys um, like your Astro Train? How big? Yeah. So, because some people want Astro Train to be a lot bigger, but actually yeah. in the yeah. animations, he was obviously... In a robot mode, about the same size as all the others, most of the time. He mass mass shifted, didn't he? Really? Yeah. So, yeah. You know, yeah. I'd want him the same want... size as Octane, and I'd want all yeah. the triple changes yeah. like the G. And, and in new comics, any new comics, um, he's massive. He's massive. He's He's like broadside, isn't he? He's like broadside, isn't he? But if you if yeah. you if you wanted to get just a shut, you know, a, a, a huge shuttle, you might as well buy a replica NASA shuttle <laughs> and repaint it, and have you know have say, Skylinks. <laughs> no, 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 but it's just genuine, just a model, model shuttle, repaint it, and then where you can have your, your Decepticons coming in at the back, can you? It'd be a cool scene. So, I mean, if you get him for 60 quid, I'd, I'd get him for 60 pounds. He'd work with your legends if you wanted to have him as your, you know, your big bot. Ash yeah, I was thinking that with Octane, a uh, provider, would he work with legends? But, no. Well, you shared that wonderful picture, didn't you? Or there was that wonderful picture on, on our group, which was Octane, and then there was, an Ash, there was a shuttle on top of it, wasn't there? Yeah, so, like like it was uh, it was the, the space shuttle obviously landed or refueling on top of a plane, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, I think it was like before it then takes off into into the um the stratosphere. Um, mm. and that was really cool. launch them off the top of the, the the big jumbo jets for a time, didn't they? Yeah. That was yeah. one way of getting them up into space rather than using the the, the booster rockets and everything. Well, now they've got SpaceX, haven't they? So we're all going to be there ne- next year. I've got my ticket. I got I got a plus one. Transformers yeah. podcast live from the International Space Station. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so okay, you mean you've got a ticket to get on the space? I thought you meant to go and watch the launch. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be a space ticket, mate. So these, these are this is um, our, one of our wonderful um, friends and fans. Uh, RJ has shared these hot off the press. He got these to us very quickly. Mm. And this is leaked pictures of Earthrise Cyclonus. And um, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. So do we think this is Earthrise or do we think it might even be next year's, you know, run of toys? It certainly doesn't look like a finished product. So it looks more like a, yeah. kind of like a prototype. I mean, the face is... It I, looks I, like I, his I legs are going to extend out as well. Problems. Yeah. But it, it could be it could be the next line, what follows up. But the... the the Cyclonus was a bit of a surprise, but then mm. Top Gun, the Top Gun F-14 Tomcat that transforms. I'm into that. It's also I'm into that. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. I mean, that, that's more, to me, I'd, I'd, I'd pick that up first, and then the Cyclonus. <laughs> I used to love Top Gun. It was great. And the fact, I didn't even realise until I zoomed in on the box to actually look at the details that it actually transforms. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, he's it's mad. got a robot mode. It's crazy, cool, isn't it? Isn't it? I've, I've, I've spoken to uh, Claire about this though, Andy. You you have to get past that volleyball scene. You've never seen the ending. You always stop at the volleyball scene. Just no, I can never make it past the volleyball then. scene. And I'll never make it past that. What happens? Do you just pause it and lose yourself? No, you, you don't have to pause it. You need to see all the. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Talk about it afterwards, Jamie. <laughs> I was watching. Uh, I was, I was going, going through all the all the all the sort of actors over the years, the, the leading men from the sixties through to the. Um, noughties it was just in a, in a facebook post and it was that and, and before that 
like Top Gun sort of thing. And apart from Sloane and Arnie, there wasn't really that many buff guys. And after that, were you it disappointed? All went, all went super buff. Like, you had, like, you know, 80s he was just researching buff like, guys. You had like Die Hard and okay, good. You were the buff were... guys from early 80s. <laughs> totally oiled up men playing volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hard and sweaty men playing volleyball tell me homoeroticism anyway <laughs> the sound wave's an interesting one as well because it does okay good me, why do I have these feelings like <laughs> let it go now somewhere at the bottom isn't it yeah sound wave uh, just kind of looks like the siege version but obviously a bit of retooling like Megatron mm. but the interesting to see how he transforms and what transforms I'm just mad they're showing us another sound wave before we get blaster in the in the series. Yeah. I know, that's a bit mad. But surely Blast will be pick in the And go to Hasbro. <laughs> destroy some statues ignored. and make ourselves feel at home. The, ma- the my, thing uh, I was most excited about was Thrust, definitely. Thrust is the one that, you know, yeah. even though it's just a retool of Starship, I don't care. I want the cone heads. So. Well, well you say that, but it looks like they've got rid of some of that junk off the ankles, which is nice. Mm. Yeah, it does yeah. look as simple as design. And you want it to be a retool of like I want my seekers to be uniform, like have their slight yeah. variances, mm-hmm. but I want them to be the same height. I want yeah. them to all have the same sort of you don't want bits they share. Uh, you don't want um seekers, you want sleekers. Yeah. Dirty <laughs> sleekers and thrusts. What a great pun. <laughs> so how do you think these photos are being taken? Because this person seems to live in an awful a place, don't they? They're it's on a, a camouflage <laughs> sheet from Metal Gear Solid 2. <laughs> Whoever took these photos. Uh, apparently, it's, it's, it's te- they're, all, they're all taken by well known member. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's, it's like either factory weaver, rejects or something somebody's stolen, right? They've mm. got to be, haven't they? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Cause, I mean, this, look at it, this one's in a, so close, in a plastic bag, right? Yeah, that but if some of them have been mistransformed, in... like that thrust, his arms haven't been, haven't been um, put away under the uh, center of the fuselage. If you look at the mm. underside shot, you can see his arms yeah. are still visible. Mm. So it could be someone who doesn't really know what they've got or just works mm-hmm. in the factory and just grabs something. I think someone... Or maybe I'm just being I, hypercritical I, I, of somebody who can't no, transform no. the figure. <laughs> I, think, I think someone knows what they've got. I, this is, this, they look like um, test bots, don't they? Like the They'll be on eBay tried. soon, I guarantee that. We will make up all these um, conspiracy things. Like, it's just Transformers. It's not secret government documents. And I always throw on myself going, how how has someone (laughs) snuck this out? You know, when Hasbro finds out, they're nothing. Oh, they probably won't care, will they? Because it's just going to build up hype. Didn't you hear? um, I heard there was um, some actual hype going around that fans' toys weren't going to be making the last couple of aerial bots and stuff because apparently Hasbro have cracked down I saw the post. I couldn't find it again. I saw some pictures mm. between. It was really. It was, I, it was I, I, I the don't American know. guy. I forgot your name, John. I think it was who posted it. He had a chat with a designer um, who said that fans' toys won't be able to produce the last Superion because Hasbro were going to release Superion. Yeah, and it, was really? it. yeah, so they might get able to release it, which is fine for fans' toys because they take years and years to release toys anyway. But it, there might be a more than the normal fans' toys delay on this one. But do you know how you said Hasbro probably don't care? But we've not seen any more photos of these models, which makes you think maybe Hasbro have got to the person and made them disappear. (laughs) That that post at one point, the link that was being kind of shared around didn't work. It said it'd been removed. But then it seems to have reappeared again, so... We've got got this as well, which is a third-party Star Convoy. I don't know who it is, though. If it's KFC or... Oh, it's like a if, joint team. I, 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 I swear this. No, this is actually. I can't remember who's released it, but this is out soon. Apparently, I was just taking a, a snapshot from is my phone. Is that translucent but, plastic? It just looks like a drawing to me, like someone's it's painting. A digibash. It. It's a digibash. But this yeah. is something which has come out. Apparently, been apparently been announced. So, if you're Star Convoy fans, then um, this is on the. So it's on the definitely plastic. more accurate than the Hasbro version. Yeah. Yeah. Hasbro version was just awful. Well, it was a quick retail the Hasbro version, really. Yeah. What was it? Just, R- you know. Is Star Convoy R.I.D. was it? Or? No, it's the Japanese uh, continuity. Is it in, uh, Victory? Or it was one of the ones further yeah. on down the line in the Japanese the continuity. Evo- the evolution of Power Master Prime? Uh, no, because Prime sort of died and became Leo Convoy, and, that, and this right. was him being brought back. Like, this was then the original oh. Prime brought back in another way somehow. Body. 
Yeah. I need to watch that somehow. I need to, I do actually I actually own it on DVD, I just never watched it. Never watched Victory. I started watching it and I have to admit it was um I found it slightly harder work than I was expecting, so I, I gave up quite soon into it. It's not my optimist. <laughs> Here he goes. No. Yeah. <laughs> So, so that, that that's that's all I had. Um, other things, um, you know, Unicron, Zeta Unicron, I got a, a bill for that. So, Jamie scared the shit out of me today when he showed me his uh, new cross train. I thought, is that the box? I actually thought that was the box. <laughs> I was like, oh, really? No. <laughs> I was, I just woke up and I was like, oh shit, I'm not gonna, how am I going to hide that from my wife? She goes, you got a lot of packages there. I went, yeah, it's just uh, <clears throat> stuff for the boys. So we this did guy actually me. get some shots with him with his head on as well, didn't we? This mm. week, I think, yeah, well. yeah. Really nice. I, I think because our last week we had some shots, didn't we? He's a headmaster, yeah. isn't he? But he, he, came, he comes packaged, I think, separately, almost as two different products. I think the body yeah. comes as a box, and then there's another long box which has his head. The add-on kit. Yeah. <laughs> add-on kit. It's annoying because I, like, I want to display That's my... So, so, ha- so when Haslab comes out, I want that in planet mode because I think that looks, that looks like... Yeah, really cool. yeah. And then, and then I would like to have Zeta in robot mode but then i also like to have a spare unicron head <laughs> well no but you can use the unicron the unicron head from the haslab one detaches so you can i'm going to be displaying uh, that circling a primus in cybertron mode um no, while unicron's my... in the full sort of uh, thing. i want to put it in my bed and scare my shit out my wife <laughs> I'll put you still just, the head. Did, did. <laughs> just the head that's all you need you, just the head and then you'll get scared when she asks how much it costs <laughs> <laughs> yeah cool right any other news anyone want to this guy out? as well the guy behind me as well mmc he's in my uh quarantine zone at the moment we have a three-day quarantine zone so he is uh, and he's about um 10 10 inches roughly yes yeah, some so. people have had him already and been putting photos on the groups and uh yeah. and twitter and things and it's he's, he's a big bot <laughs> So I have, the, I have nowhere well. to put him at the moment. I bought some um, more dividers for my detours. So plastic dividers, so you can actually add some extra shelves in. So I can now convert stuff into um, alt mode and then store them in those little half shelves. Um, but I literally have nowhere to put this guy. So <laughs> <laughs> You should probably send him to me or Jamie. We'll look after yeah, him. Yeah, that's a good idea. So yeah. I, am, I, am, I am selling some stuff online, so if people want to get in touch with me. <laughs> <laughs> I, managed, I, I managed to sell my KFC tape, so that's created them. Um, so I'm sure that space will come in handy for the, those little guys. <laughs> yeah, of all the things you sold. Was, it, some small was Emily after your pink, the pink tape? Did yeah, you agree to yes. sell that one to her? No, no. So he actually comes with he comes with part of, he comes with the KFC blue double deck, which I got from yeah. TF Nation a couple of years ago. Um, if I ever, I mean, I don't want to sell him because I've got the um, the black TF Toy House Factory Soundwave Sound Blaster, the black one. Um, so after they obviously fight in season in headmasters, they die, don't they get remade in these new colours? So if I got rid of one, I have to get rid of the other. And I was like, mm. I like, I like, I like the Toy Us Factory one too much. It's actually really good, well designed. It's a good, it's a good um, rip off. So, and he's died of old age, Alexis. Oh. Shit. Again. He wouldn't. How can he? How many times can you die of old age? Andy. Right. Let's move on to pickups. 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 So, who would like to go first? Who got picky uppy this week? I can go first. Cool. Cheers, Jamie. Um, oh, Andy's going to miss out in my pickups. No, that's oh, annoying. <laughs> do you want me to go first? Because he won't care about my pickups. Yeah. Oh, Paul, you go. go on, uh, first. So I got this week. Uh, so this is Optics, which is Iron Factory's IDWE type version of Hound, obviously. Um, it was after a recommendation on the there's a really good Facebook group. And I think it's called Transformers Legends. BST mm. buy sell and trade but you can discuss legends on there as well and I stuck a photo up of my legends collection and um I was having a chat with a guy so we should pick up optics um it's one of his favorite figures and it is it's really good really good alt mode really good transformation um the plastic is solid um yeah really happy with him then just one more thing is I'm on a bit of a side swipe kick at the moment uh trying to get as many side swipes uh, as I could uh, and I managed to get Studio series sideswipe. So he was, I can't remember. He was about, this keeps happening. The, he's got these blades that he uses where he spins around in the movie, um, but they don't stick on that well. Or maybe I was just not doing it right because that's quite firm. Um, yeah, I think he was about 13 pounds. Go on, focus. Uh, and he's really nice as well, really highly detailed, uh, really clever transformation. 
and everything uh, in his lovely alt mode of a car, which is something that Studio Series do really well, all um, tucks in, like his two guns go underneath uh, and they become the exhaust. Um, these two shield bits, the knives he uses in the, um, the film, uh, they go into uh, the bomb of his car. Um, yeah. Which film was he in? Which, which Bay verse was he in? Two films ago, I think. Can you remember him? He like he goes round. He his was in come out. Revenge of the Fallen, wasn't he? Yeah, because, that was when um, he was first there. Yeah. yeah. Was he? Yeah. Remember yeah, him? Right he's, start, he slices like Dead on... End in half. Yeah. I was really yeah. excited for Dead End. I remember getting the figure. I bought it because I thought I loved the alt mode of the Audi. And then you watch the film, and he's literally dead in about forty-five seconds. And you just think, well, that was that was a waste of money there. Uh, so yeah, I don't really collect Baver stuff, so why, but this is so good. So why 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 all the side swipes? Oh, do you know, I really machine. like side swipe. And I watched um, Chris McFeely's The Basics on Side Swipe, uh, and ah. I was looking. There's not loads and loads of side swipes out there, um, and th- that's there really is. interesting. <laughs> no, it's not like Prime or like Hot Rod or anything. There's a, a reasonable amount. Um, so far, I'll try and collect. I've already got some already, like uh, Magic Square and Masterpiece and Siege, and they're brilliant. Three brilliant Transformers. Are you thought about the clone side swipe? You know, from the um, the pack. The double pack. Yeah, yeah, I have. So um, if I see you one, got, um, you, you, should, you should try and look for um, Tiger Tracks. Isn't it? Yeah, it's quite expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's he's, thirty quid. He's, a, he's a rare one. Yeah. yeah. So like the red, to get the it red there. Bull. No, the yellow one. The MP MP Tiger Tracks yellow one. Yeah, because originally in Japan, Sideswipe was yellow, wasn't he? And, uh, Sunstreak was red. Yeah. They swapped mm. it over when it came to the. That's uh, why their bios were backwards, and I think uh, the original Bob Budiansky bios had Sunstreak with the mm. jetpack and stuff, didn't they? Yeah. 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 Ah. yeah. All the accessories were on the other one. Uh, and then quickly swapped it. So yeah, the, just two pickups. Loads okay. of stuff was going to come in this week. Uh, so I'm looking forward to the next couple of days. Uh, <laughs> I always like um, Scully's, Scully's, Bobby Scarface when he does there. Uh, and here he is next to Tiger Tracks. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loves that. <laughs> <laughs> Jay? <laughs> next, fine. Just me then, just me then. I haven't seen that. I can do that. Oh, me. <laughs> you are so lonely. I've seen loads of his videos, great videos. I haven't seen the bit where he does that with Tiger Tracks. For scale, he always brings in Tiger Tracks. It's quite good. Oh, oh, all right, there you we'll go. take your word for it, Alex. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Jamie? <laughs> yeah. Um, you, Jay. I got um, lots of Shark Decons from Emily. I got five. Nice. And then um, it came really quick as well, so that was awesome. You know, really nice person to um, get these Shark coins from. A fantastic deal as well. Um, I don't know if I showed the Fire coins I got last week. You know, because I couldn't, I just can't. No, you I didn't. actually got quite, I got quite nice. a lot. And sometimes you start to lose track when they actually arrived. Mm. So I've got, and I've ordered the other one. Hopefully, it should be arriving sometime next week, and I'll have um, the old vintage Fire coins. Um, my Michael Master. Um, vintage base thing, um, <laughs> my cell carrier thing. You know, so that, is that the really one from? Nice um, we, we were talking about on eBay the other week. Yeah, the, yeah. The rare, the right Micro Masters that comes with it. So I got they're quite rare, aren't they? Yeah, as part of the three pack. Yeah, because they come from Japan, so the Japanese oh, Micro Master it, came out in different yeah. packs. So it's I've not got a the original. Pack, that one is it though? It doesn't. One no. plug into the front, one plugs into the back. Yeah, the back. And then yeah. you've got the actual transport in between. Yeah. The UK must that. have had a three pack. It was him, uh, and then the. I saw the blue one. The blue one with the big cannon. cannon. Yeah. yeah. The, not the black the plane. Bird. The black plane. Yeah. I've got and, that, I, and I picked up really some. Cool and I've still to. Mm. I've still to open them. You're thinking of them things, aren't you, Paul? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the that's the siege version, but um, yeah, they did come in. I, three I think I got some more. Thing. I got the Astro Squad uh, Motorbot Vintage Micro Masters, which no, are nice. excellently packed they're together. Rare. They're quite rare. You, they're... How's your Micro Masters display going on? Oh, it's really quite awesome, actually. I, I've got some down in the living room to me, Lens Delight, <laughs> and they're nice boxes. <laughs> I feel and, I can hear it playing with them right now, you know. And I'm, yeah, I've got the Autobot. Aircraft patrol, I've forgotten what they're called. But the guy I'm really happy about, I'm really happy about those guys. I'm just going to have to take them apart and give them a good cleaning stuff. Is um, Landamine. He's got a switch on top. 
you know, this was the first um, pretenders actually when I was a kid. So I was glad to get him back again. Nice, yeah, that's cool. You know, he, he's got, he's one of the he's one of the original three. It was lamp. It was there was the red yeah. one, him, Cloudburst, and then there was the and. And I got him oh, from Twitter, you know, someone who sell me Twitter, and that was like thirty pound, including postage and packaging. So it was really quite a good deal, really. You know, so that was pretty awesome. Plus, really good photos, so I knew what I was getting as well. Yeah, so that that was my stuff. Good. Wait, nice it. Yeah, right. a lot of vintage stuff. Yeah, you are. I'm seeing more and more. Do you think that's because you're up to date with all your siege and uh, yeah. fries? So you're just looking for something else to buy now. <laughs> just going to spend my money on something else. Yeah. Uh, who would like to go next? Ben? I can go if you want. Yep, yeah, Andy. Cool. Right, strike yourselves in. Nothing. Uh, I've got nothing. <laughs> um, well, uh, I, by Sunday, I may have several things. I don't know yet, but um, I've not know. bought anything because uh, with Father's Day coming up, um, Claire's been monopolising the cash flow, um, so I, I, I'm asking no questions. I've, I've spoken to Claire. I think, I think you're getting some Mako Master stuff. <laughs> so, Lovely. So we, <laughs> has she sent yeah. it to your address? <laughs> yeah. You know the rule, Andy. If you, don't, if, if you don't have a bot, you've got to show a body part. Which is on which yeah that, that's, 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 that. that's that's not our rule. <laughs> yeah. I think that's I think that's more of a personal thing. <laughs> So I'll search for some Top Gun stuff. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> It'll scratch the itch for you. Shall I go get my uh, my baby oil? <laughs> <laughs> I'd really rather you didn't. I want you <laughs> like right, it. we will uh, quickly go to <laughs> Ben. No, 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 mate. Ben, I, think I you knew there was a really good reason. I knew there was a really good reason I managed to buy something this week. Lesses, thank you very much. <laughs> um, but no, so I'm a chub collector, seasons one to four, and uh, one of the big missing things were these guys. That I just started to pick up of eBay. Um, the original nice. Throttlebot team. Uh, we got Roadburn, who's the renamed Chase from the Throttlebots, uh, obviously uh, a few years ago, but the others don't seem to be materialising anytime soon, especially with, you know, the, the Legends Scout class seems to have disappeared, you know, what with Cliff Jumper being in a deluxe box and stuff. So I thought I'd start picking them up off of eBay now. Um, and the nice thing about them is they're pretty junky, so I can actually take sort of a paintbrush to them and stuff and start painting bits that were never painted before and having a little bit of a play around with them. So that's nice. I that's had that good. one I chased. I had the, I, that's the only one I had actually was the, the white car chase. I, I, I love them because they're like baby, ba baby battle chargers, aren't they? Yeah, I so the white ones was... are Spotlight or Shirt Spotlight. Spotlight. I, yeah, spotlight. Yeah. He's a fake. He's a fake. We find it. <laughs> <laughs> he knows nothing about Shirt Spotlight. He's a phony. <laughs> no, I, I, I said he was called Spotlight earlier on. Or so. <laughs> I said that, like, before I did. we started. Then, but then, then, you, then you said um, Chase. I was uh, like, oh, he's... Oh, I didn't want to correct... I, didn't, I thought I was being corrected. I didn't realise actually I was correct earlier. You so, weren't hey. listening to him, were you? It was. It was the one If you read the IDW Spotlight stories you can pose a uh, spotlight with uh, a six shot like, no i've okay. just i've just with, I've, uh, that one. I've just where am i up to now phase two still so so now flywheels has gone so i'm up to about I'm up to about that point now just around that sort of area they've just gone back to, prime she's gone back to the ghost planet it's quite an interesting story obviously the, the angle you go you you traverse the planet to depends on the timeline you come in at it's quite oh. interesting actually so, multiverse theory again. Cool. Uh, right, I haven't missed anyone ever. That's it for pickups. You Ooh. missed Alexis. Oh, didn't he say about oh. the guy in the background? Oh, no, you just started talking about him, didn't you? Bill? Sorry, mate. I bought DX9 carry. I was very quick off the mark. I saw this, and it was at a good price. I haven't ever bought him. And to be honest, for a figure, I've got my MP. I've got two MP rodder buses. But I thought this guy gets raped out so much, I want to just dip into him and see what he's like, and then I'll I'll pass him on to a better home eventually. So, but I've transformed his gun, which is actually pretty cool. So he comes comes with a fire bolt, um, who's a little bit parts for me, but it's actually really solid. And um, what I only found out when I bought him actually is this actually converts all of it into one bot. It's a complete design. So, you know, with um, obviously the original. Um, Rodimus and with the Takara one, it's it's the trailer and the bot. You get two different parts. This converts solely into one robot, which is really cool. And it's actually the same size as the original um, uh, eighty six um, toy as well. The only difference wow. with it is it hasn't hasn't got a spoiler 
that's the only difference really but the whole thing converts into huh. he looks nice it's, re- it's really cool and he's got a massive sport. so I'm looking forward to that um, playing with that I, wish, I was going to ask you what scale is he is, is he chug scale but then no he's never given so he, he's, a, he's the same size as MP10 so same size I have as no MP10. idea what MP10 is uh, so he's 9 inches he's 9 inches tall Nine so inches tall. You know, if you ask my wife very adequate <laughs> cool did you get anything else mate I did but it's all in quarantine so my Kang, my Kang toys I've got my Kang toys still um, boxed up because um, I was listening to Bobby Skullface and he said he's he's dipping into it but in case it doesn't quite work out hasn't got the box yet because they haven't actually shown the full image of Predaking yet um, so it's I've, I've, I'm in for the next two I've threw those from um, my good buddy Greg um, but I just haven't opened it up yet I just, I'm just sort of that until I see the finished product I want it I, I really want it um, so plus I'm I need, the I'm, same I'm to... guys who've done the side no. swipe so Kang Toys it's weird so if you look at like Toy World Zeta Exeta Studio Cell Kang Toys they're all the sort of they're all the same company mm. really just like but it, it's 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 very incestuous and the design is on to other other organizations really so and it all depends on who's got the rights to the factory it's weird because china has no real eclectic view on ip but it doesn't it, I, I, I don't know it's really weird but um yeah. the, you know, the, re- the red bull one that's a toy world i think isn't it oh, okay is is that what the uh side swipe yes yeah, yeah. and yeah. that and it looks that looks like that does look like it's going to be a combiner as well when I saw that first of all, I thought, oh, that's interesting. That's going to be, um, yeah, part of Predator King. But um, it's chug scale almost. It's the same height as like TFC or Transformation. It's like yep. a 15 inch combiner. Kang Toys, the, the the reason it looks quite interesting is because actually you can actually take the arm off and, off of Toy World or off of your Zeta and it fits straight in. It's the same uh, attachments that they use there as well. So, and the arm is fucking huge. It's like a big bot. And if you look, it's weird. Someone took a picture actually of Kang Toys. Uh, Rampage right next to the um, MMC Feral Rex, their version of Predaking, which is obviously you know well well known, and it came up to above his waist. So the arm of the new Predaking came up to the waistline of the old Predaking to show the sort of size of him. He's going to be a big twenty inches. Yeah, Bobby's concern you. was what the Razor Claw is going to look like and if it's going to be parts forming to build the the combined. Robot. Correct, and if you have to have the um the the six piece, which is potentially spoofed as the gorilla, yeah, which I, I don't quite get. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't bother me having a part form gorilla, um, as long as they've done it correctly. But again, the the images have changed, so the, the renders have changed over the time. So I think mean, we all know that you know when they get feedback, they do go and re-engineer these tool these toys as well, which is you know good. We want that. We only want them to use us for feedback. So please send me your toys. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Right, and you're keeping yours in quarantine? What for coronavirus for three days? I, I keep my my bots in quarantine for three days, and I I take them out. So I had I got this on Tuesday. Is that a suitable Sorry. length of time, Jamie? Three, three. days. Was... Jamie's playing Tetris. Three. No, what do you think, Jamie? Do you think three days is that <laughs> too long? <laughs> Jamie, stop watching Top Gun. Put the vo- <laughs> put the volleyball down. <laughs> Cool, right. Okay. So... <laughs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> oh, no more pickups. Right, so today we're going to talk uh, Boot Transformers, the uh, trading card game, uh, which was released, I don't know, probably about four years ago, five years ago. Uh, no, actually, it's in years. October, October 2018. Right, wow. so not long at all. And I'm going to stop guessing about the game and let you yeah. talk about it. So Ben, so thank you so much for this great Facebook group. Um, do you want to talk about your Facebook group uh, and then talk about um, the game? And we've probably got loads of questions, hopefully, for you. Yep. Uh, so yeah, I, when this game was announced, um, I've played these type of games. Um, and I know Alexis said Magic the Gathering is sort of the most famous card game. I've been doing that for over 20 years. I've also been collecting Transformers figures, and then they finally announced, you know, who Wizards of the Coast, who own Magic the Gathering, are part of Hasbro. So, you know, they they make card games, they have access to the license of Transformers, and they finally put them together. Um, This was announced early in 2018, and one of the first things I did was created uh, the Transformers TCG UK and Ireland community page. there's one big US Facebook group, uh, which sort of is the main one for where the information goes. 
Um, but the designers of the game and the community managers and stuff often post off onto us as well because the UK community outside of the US is probably the next biggest uh, player base for the game. Um, so yeah, they announced this game was coming out. Uh, the combination of two of the biggest things in my life that I collected and, and spent all my money on. Uh, so Hasbro took another big chunk of my income by, by fusing the two together. And um, yeah, it, you've got a really good community. It really shares that with the TF UK community, that the community is really strong and, and the interaction on the Facebook group is really good. Um, one of the difficulties with the game is actually bringing people together to find other players to play. Um, you come across it's, it, and a father. It's, it's and played. It's played. It's played physically. You don't play online, do you? It's not like no. arena. No, no. You actually, in times of COVID, it's quite difficult because you actually have to be sitting across the table from somebody else to play the game. Um, so in times of COVID, it was illegal if you did that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not if you were two meters away <laughs> in, a, in a back garden, Jamie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can play very social distancing games. At the I love moment. the thought of underground illegal games of uh, car. <laughs> 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 I like meeting the idea at midnight. Of breaking out was, in the middle was, of a supermarket uh, or something. <laughs> I was thinking about just sort of Transformer fans hiding in my back, in my back garden. <laughs> <laughs> just genuinely. <laughs> just generally. <laughs> I'd check. Where you normally find them. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, you avoid the baby oil. <laughs> Yeah, this is this was predominantly by the company was aimed at a sl slightly younger player group. They wanted to try and capture kids, um, obviously, you know, with the, the toy lines and stuff. And there's always the blurry line of if Chug is for kids or for us collectors. But they aimed this at the younger players, but then the fathers started playing it. And now what you find is there's a bit, really big group of like 30-year-olds, 40-year-olds playing this who like competition. And there's a competitive element to playing the game as well. Um, we're playing it with our children and... Uh, yeah, the game has done really well in the year and a half it's been around. Just to how give you, you play? Like, how, how, well, no, sorry, you are going to yeah, go into yeah, that? Yeah. You? You've just yeah, stole yeah, my so question. <laughs> you always steal questions. I've said this about Alexis before. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sent questions this week. Is that why? My question was going to be Ben. Imagine I know very little about this game. How would you explain yeah. it to a complete noob? <laughs> we'll, we'll edit that out. Don't worry. So th there's two parts to the game. One is you get your giant robot characters. Um, they come in sort of three different flavors. So the normal sized one is like this guy here, who hopefully is coming up against you. So this yeah, is yeah. He's uh, holding a big sword. He's holding a big sword, turns into a big tank. It turns into a big tank. So they're reversible cards. And one of the key mechanics is that, you know, every turn you can flip one of them from a robot into their you know, tank, car, plane, whatever. Taking advantage be. of their transformer heritage. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Um, and then you have some smaller characters that go along with whatever gimmick. And so the sets as they come out usually follow one of the toy lines. We had a couple around Siege, but now because we're in between Siege and Earthrise, the current set that came out a couple of weeks ago is based on Titan Masters. So it's very much the Titans Return toy line. So uh, we get heads, so to speak. Um, his his uh, emissary, which came out with the Fortress Maximus toy in Titan's Return. Mm -hmm. uh, he turns into the head for Cerebros. So, so we have a Cerebros card who's the same size as the normal one I just showed you. Mm -hmm. And then he turns into the head of Mr. Fortress Maximus. Mm -hmm. So he's I a know, giant so you've got these, I'm, I'm assuming you. that you've got these in the car protectors because these are quite rare. Is that uh, big? Well, they... Hang on, hang on a second. How big is that card? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, that big. Well, it is oh, wow. They don't fit I'm assuming. In your pocket. It... <laughs> I'm assuming it's quite expensive as well because you've got it in the car protector. It's not like kids can uh, in the playground, is it? It's huge. You just don't want something that big to kind of get damaged too easily. So, and from being in Magic, where you're handling some cards that are worth hundreds of pounds, it's sort of second yeah, yeah. nature to protect these things. One of the great things about this game, though, compared to many of the others, is it's actually quite cheap to buy into. Um, mm -hmm. Because of the way they work the rarities, there is, you know, your super, super, super rare cards, which can be like 50 to 100 pounds, but you don't need them to play the game. So actually, the way it's, you only need one copy of each of the characters to start and play. So they're actually quite cheap to pick up on the secondary market and get into. And even though the game's been around now for a year and a half, it's not too scary to go back and buy all the cards from the beginning of the game. Because it's, not like, it's not like a Lotus. No, exactly. It's, it's <laughs> actually really cheap on the secondary market. I mean, when they put some links up, um, 
you know, to like allow people to maybe look where they would buy these sort of things. Yeah, we can cards. do that. So, 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 for example, so if you go back to Magic, some of the cards there are worth tens of thousands of pounds. Yeah. You get some like well, I mentioned Lotus, for example. There are some cards which came out back in the nineties which are just super like rare. And you can play and you can, or something. So, so with Magic, they rotate the cards every two years because there's so many. Um, if you want to buy a decent Magic deck, a competitive deck, a physical deck, you're looking at probably a couple hundred quid all in to get a deck which you, you feel comfortable with really because you have to buy all the lands and things as well. The good thing about this is because it's quite new in respects, you can get everything probably for you know, about, about 20 You could 30 build 30. a competitive deck for like 20 to 30 pounds. Yeah. So what's the, what, what levels do you have? So Magic, uh, so I only ever collected Star Trek CCG and used to have yep. common, uncommon, rare, ultra rare. I think that's that's it. it. And you'd have like that's promo. It. And that's what you've got exactly that. Same yeah, format. Exactly that. They're called commons, uncommons, rares, and super rares. I mean, yeah. I've actually got an official booklet to use. Actually, I don't know if it's an official booklet. I just made that up. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You, you, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I lie so about half the stuff. I see. Yeah. They're the second <laughs> half of the game. So what you've got there are the battle cards. So here we've got the Master of Melitaco um, card. And these form like a deck of cards that have you know you play weapons shields onto your characters actions that that do effects on the game there to boost your big robots you've already got in play and then essentially your big robot attacks one of their big robots you've got attack and defense you fight each other until you've done enough damage to knock them out the action's a bit more like bayverse or the transformers the movie because characters are actually getting shot and hit and hurt um, as opposed how does, it, to actually, how, does, how does it work? How does it start then? Because I know, so for example, with Magic, you get everyone, you've got a 60 card deck, yeah. and you have you, you, you shuffle them, and then you draw your top seven cards, and then you decide yeah. if you're going to stick or twist, and you go down to six or whatever, and then you play a land card. So each turn, you're trying to play a land card, and your cards cost your, your, the cards in your hand which you want to play, like your creatures or your spells, have a mana yeah. cost. So each turn you can play one land. So on turn five, you sh you could actually have five lands that you can play a five land spell. Um, potentially you turn yeah. your lands out. So how does that translate into Transformers? Well, so one of the most frustrating and one of the things that can turn people away a lot from Magic is that mechanic. Because if you never have enough to spend, like if you draw them in the wrong order and you can't actually play your spells, it sucks because you get beaten to oh, death. Oh yeah, it's, it's being Where, cool being, yeah, you get, you get Magic the Gathering. <laughs> yeah. Well, whereas in, in this game, right, your robots all have like a star cost at the bottom of the card. So his Metroplex, who costs 25 stars, you're allowed yeah. to spend 25 stars on your squad of robots and they all start in play. So you start with your squad of robots. They start with their squad of robots. You enhance them with the cards in your traditional deck. And then as you attack and defend, you flip cards over off the top of your deck. So it's a bit which... like... Um... Championship manager or uh, fantasy football, where you get a certain amount of money. Yeah, you assemble your squad. Your yeah, that is brilliant. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah. And and it's it, you can be thematic. I mean, you can you can mix Decepticons and Autobots together if you're daring enough, and you know you want to break that barrier. Um, you play with all your planes, with all your cars. The great thing is the people that have made this game are very much Transformers fans because in the first set, everybody suddenly figured out you could have Starscream, Skywarp, and Thundercracker as your starting team, and they costed 25 stars. And you, you really, it's small things like that where you realize the people making the game understand the IP. You want to have your favorite characters or, yeah. or characters which go together. You know, yeah. and, and you're and not every set... to have Bumblebee who's fish. Yeah. <laughs> you really, hey, stop wearing your t-shirt jay you stop wearing your <laughs> bumblebee t-shirt yeah. <laughs> um, so you get a, you get a, the same you problem you get with the toys which is you get a megatron and an optimus and a bumblebee in nearly every single set um they do follow the toy line so most of them fit with toys that came in titan's return but then you get these surprises like a bludgeon or a crank case we've got a crank case figure in this set that's like the trigger wet. cons. Very yeah, wet. <laughs> my, my, interest, my interest just peaked then. <laughs> so so I, I, I went to the I think we, we saw it. It, it was like this. There, Where is it? there so, you go. So th there's uh, Crankcase from the new set, right? And so they fill it out with crazy things like that. And I know a lot of you have, have got the cards just because of the art. So when it Pretty started, pictures. yeah, a lot of the art was from the mobile game and from the IDW comics at the start. It looked like IDW, actually. I was going to say IDW, yeah. the ones I've got look yeah. like IDW. Yeah, a lot but of what I is... wanted to ask was, when you're playing this game against other people, what's yeah. the um, atmosphere like? Do you, if, if you beat someone, do you go like, boom, 
I brought the pain, <laughs> you know. Um, or, or is it very, is it very oh, civilized? Jay, Jay, I'm <laughs> so taking to my next you tournament. You can be, you can be, my, you can be <laughs> my wingman, Jay. You can stand there behind me when I win, and you can go, boom! <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be an FDS. Yes. <laughs> Imagine the loser, so, so, but you determine the winners. You know, do you come so, out with all that, or is it all very civilized shit cans? Well, so no, actually, this is the really nice thing about it. So in Magic, it's, you're supposed to actually be quite game-faced. It's quite serious, and actually showing some emotion is felt like you're making the mickey of your opponent or something in, in the scenario good. you described. But <laughs> you know. you've got two major types of players that are playing this game, which are people that either have loved Transformers and stumbled across the game and thought this looks cool, or you've got people that have played card games and have some affiliation with Transformers or love both like me, you know, which makes it a perfect marriage. But the great thing about this is that mostly it's taken a lot less seriously. You haven't got thousands of dollars or qualifying for professional tours and stuff. It's, it is very much people playing it as a fun card game. And people are staying and the community is growing and getting more popular because one, it's a really fun game. So, so people enjoy playing it. And two, the community is so good. And part of it is recreating, oh wow, Optimus Prime just shot, you know, Starscream in the head for eight damage and knocked him out or something, right? And it's, there are more high fives and, and fun playing this game because it's a card game around a toy line. I mean, come on, you can't take it that seriously. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. And so yeah, magic, <laughs> magic, magic, <laughs> magic, can be, magic, magic can be taken quite seriously. Yeah, it does it uh, get proper serious? Yeah, yeah. yeah so I, you, I, I, I always used to talk what's to my the, when we look at the cards, wind them up. <laughs> For the collectors out there, because some people will play this to um, yeah. uh, enjoy the game, but some of us will uh, be doing it to collect. Uh, yes. Probably yep. some won't never play the game. What What are the rare ones at the moment? What are hard to get? Are there like SDCC yeah, so, exclusives they've done? Yeah, what? so when the game first came out, it, pre it, it the first cards we ever saw, the SDCC in 2018, and they had this promo pack, you could only get SDCC, that had a cliff jumper and a slipstream in it. Um, characters, and they were the first characters we ever saw. Um, up until very recently, each of those would have cost you over £100, like maybe £200 wow. each. They have reprinted them in a different format. There was a special edition where you could get hold of those cards now. But um, Octone is one of the most expensive cards currently in the game because he's in a new faction. So you've got Autobots and Decepticons, but they introduced the idea of the mercenaries. And now we know with Double Dealer and in the toy line, there's going to be mercenary factions. That was first debuted in the card game. That was actually previewed for the toy lines through the card game. Oh, that's really um, interesting. And he's very cool because he can be played with either faction and he does some very cool things. They got bounty you have, um, you have like punch and counterpunch will be in there as well, wouldn't they? You probably put him in there. You could you yeah, could and that's, hit him within it. That's the really big thing and the big arguments is always why isn't my character in the game yet? Or when's my character coming into the game? And they they're really good. They give us some sort of as I said, Optimus and Megatron every set but they drip them in. So we just got wind charger. We just got beach comb. Oh, we're missing charger. people like we're missing power glide. We're missing sea spray. So there's always these, when are we going to get these iconic characters? But, but you even get things like flame war, right? Flame war is an IDW, you know, exclusive who? character. Uh, so she's a female uh, bicycle from the IDW comics. On a the bicycle. I'm oh, got, sorry. Motorbike. Obviously, I haven't got the bar yet. <laughs> you just like um, sexified. Yeah, I've got it here. I'm holding it up to, to the camera. But, as we speak. Is that even sorry. a word? Yeah. Desexify. Can you desexify <laughs> something? Make it less sexy. <laughs> you, 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 you should see my uh, my attempt. It's a tricycle to woo my, to woo my wife. So I, 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 I desexify myself all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so is, that one, is this one? Is this one quite uh, uh, rare no, or an interesting one? No, well, so it's very interesting because she's a common character, so she might cost you 20p to pick up on the secondary market, but she's probably the most played character in the game because she only costs five stars, she has a really good ability, and she shows up a lot. She was one of my mm. favourite characters from playing the game who I had no hey, idea existed. There you go. So I our, haven't our read her in IDW. Friend, our wonderful friend, um, it's, Paul, I forget his last name, it's not important, he sent us he some um, of, these, of these cards um, recently when we... Um, acquired he some uh, plastic crack of him and the first thing I did was go online and look how much these worth. Which ones are rare? Which ones are good? I was like, ah, oh. because I was, I was genuinely interested. Cause, so my question was genuinely interested. <laughs> my question was, Ben, is the ones which you mentioned actually cost money. The ones in magic that cost money are the ones that actually do like broken stuff. So the reason yeah. like a Lotus is good is because you can tap it for free mana on turn one. Mm -hmm. Right. 
are the ones that are rare in Transformers rare because they actually are you know the player the, the what the cards that everyone wants to play or is it because they're just rare cards that people want to just uh, have a prized possession it's a bit of both so the the super rare cards right usually go around the 50 pound mark because they're just more difficult to get and actually most people play this for the collection element and and completionists and mm. so you want to get everything it's like collecting the toys so people mm. will pay to try and get the ones they want um every now and again one of those will become very playable and very good in the competitive formats which will push its price up nearer the hundred hundreds of pounds which yeah. is why octones nearly a hundred pounds uh, in a single so point. paul just for your reference start your engines was the top card and the one you sent it came out like something like three pounds i think it was yeah so that was one yeah. of the like the playing cards and this is something i struggled with at the start because we're not used to star trek or even i guess magic you would get uh you'd buy a pack of cards they would all be the same size and you would get like six or well two or three say starships or personnel in it two or three characters uh, with transformers it was a bit of a shock because you basically only get one card don't you and then yep. you get is it seven cards or nine cards yeah you get eight of the battle cards that make battle up your cards. 40 card deck and you're allowed three of each of those in your 40 card deck mm. and then you get one of your characters so you would probably need to buy, you know, five or six packs just to be able to get a workable squad of robots to be able. But to you fight. can just go on if you if you know the sort of decks you want. If you know the deck you want to get, you can just go onto a, a forum or a, a, a public website and you can purchase the ones you want. There's a really good Facebook Facebook group, which is the UK Trade Buy and Sell Transformers mm -hmm. CCG group, which is where you can, because the way it works, you only ever need one of each of the characters. You can go oh. on there and you will find people selling nearly their whole collections for not an awful mm. lot of money. It would be very surprising from people that have played other card games. We'll share a link to that in the group if, if it's appropriate, if we're allowed to do that, so. Yep, no, of course, yeah, go ahead. Fantastic. So uh, the, yeah, really, the really good, useful resource I wanna call out on the Facebook community group is one of the pinned posts is all of the local players' Facebook groups for their local areas, their towns or regions in the UK. And if you want to play, but you don't really know where to start, go there and try and find the community that's nearest you or try and find your local gaming store because if they then stock the game and have players there they will connect you to people that play in their area yeah cool. I, I got ask... from... sorry go for it jamie yeah um you said it was like a, a lot of people get introduced it was aimed at kids and then a lot of fathers brought it up because they were playing with their kids when you go to these meets as you just playing other adults you're not yes. forced to play a child I mean, you, you do, sometimes do have to play a child, and, oh, and God. Alex, Alexis will tell you there's child's playing in these, in these magic You're a tournaments. teacher, Jamie, you'll be fine. Just think of it as somebody... But do you have class. to let them win? No. The reason you don't get younger children playing Magic the Guardians is because it can be quite complex. They rate, they rate Magic at 12, but my, my friend, who's been playing Magic as long as um, Ben has... So my magic number, for example, is like seven digits. His is like four. Yeah. <laughs> so he's been playing for quite a long time. So his son has been playing from the age of like seven or eight. And um, it, it's really good because, again, you get people like us who aren't, you know, always naturally extroverts who go there and it brings people together in a commonality. So you can be as uh, open as you want or whatever. So, but again, I used to, in the guys I went to my Friday night magic shop, with I used to go to the GPs with as well and you know you meet some nice people doing that as well so it brings people together in that respect as well so you can extend your your community as well so uh, by going to these places as well and yeah and if you, if you if you're not sure about it you can give them a call there's always someone there who can obviously answer some questions for you but I would recommend if you if you're on the cusp of doing it give it a try because you know you'll probably meet some nice people there as well and if you also you going to be at TFCon aren't you uh, I will be at TFCon uh, next year and TF Nations hopefully next year. Um, I'll always have decks on hand. So if anybody ever wants to learn the game, I think I can teach most people oh. in about 10 minutes the fundamentals of how well, to play. I, bet, yeah, I could challenge you. you put aside <laughs> hour, I, thought, I, thought, I thought you meant like, you know, he's a DJ. I've got decks at hand. Waka, 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 waka. <laughs> so um, I think we'll do a, a game then at TFCon. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Cool. I've got a flame war. Everybody else has it all. Go can well. you play it over Zoom? <laughs> oh, I mean, you, could. you can. You could play yeah. it. You could play it. Yeah, yeah you could. It uses a bit of its edge, to be honest. What, what, what's, your, what's, your, my, my favorite, what's your favorite style of magic, Ben? Mine was always sealed. I've, I, I, in my local shops, I've, I've won quite a few championships as a sealed. But I love just getting the random decks and trying to build something which is playable. I love that. What, yeah, what, yeah so what limited you, what, what formats you, my favorite, and I actually own a uh, Magic the Gathering cube 
So I'm going to let you, you two know, talk about Magic the Gathering. Andy, do you want to shoot? I was, I was just going to say, <laughs> I was gonna say um, my just favourite form of magic is uh, Paul Daniels. I, I really like that. Always bit, which is the same thing, really. <laughs> you like it. Not a lot, but you like it. Yeah. yeah. We'll chat afterwards, Ben. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, you can yeah, chat yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. I was just going to let Andy shoot if you want to shoot. So you see uh, yeah, I've got, I've got to get off, unfortunately, lads. But cheers for that. Ben. We'll keep really the podcast going. I'm actually looking forward to playing a, a game uh, of that. Um, hopefully. We'll yeah, get to, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you have the cards, you could play online. Zoom, I think you could play that format as well. We might have to yeah, practice yeah. before on me and Jamie, like the blind leading oh, yes. blind. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll play strip transformers. It'll be great fun. <laughs> no, no, we will. Why do you always sexualize things? <laughs> always. Don't. Why do you always bring sex into it? If we do that, you can appreciate manhood. Up, does, the, does the mask go off last with Bobby, yeah? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cheers, lads. See you soon. Take care, Andy. Andy. Talk soon. Bye. Andy. So yeah, feel free to carry on talking about Magic the Gathering. Um, and well, no, so uh, yeah, I I own a cube because I'm very enfranchised, which is basically you just grab whatever cards you like to build your own format. So um, mm -hmm. I, I do that. That's how I enjoy playing. Never, and never you played can do cube, that actually. Same, and you can do that the same with Transformers. You can just grab six packs. Both people just mm. open them up there on the spot and slam them together into a deck to play against each other. And if it's you need fun. an added, if you need an added incentive. The, we had the biggest tournament in, outside of the US last year. We had 65 players in London playing the Transformers card game, and the winner got a flight to attend um, uh, oh, one of the conventions in, later on in the US, but they got flights and accommodations to the US to play oh. in essentially what was the first world championships of the game as well. Wow. So, that was so, really that, cool. that's, so that's the thing about so Magic as well. You can, you, can play, so you can play online for free on Magic, and... Um, as you progress uh, naturally in the game, you, you win points and things, and you can exchange those points for packs of cards or to enter tournaments as well. And as you go through, you can become what's called a mythic. And if you become, if you're top, I think it's top 12, top 120, top 1200, yeah, you get invite. Yeah. yeah, you get you get invites to, I've, I've only been mythic once <laughs> online, but you get invited to um, tournaments as well. So they, they have the, what call, they call the pro tour. So um, I've got friends of mine who are judges, and they do that because that means they get they get all expenses trips to like Hawaii to go on these pro tours. And I so I played the guy at the GP a couple of years ago. I played the guy who won the GP, and he went to he, the next week. He was going to Hawaii, and he already qualified. And I didn't realize who he was. He had quite a big following, but he had people like Jamie behind me going boom. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> and my friend told me who he was afterwards. Guys. Is is that like um? Are you are you seeing your like similar skill level or, or was it? Yeah, it's. I mean, magic. It's all. It's all about luck. So you, everyone, everyone can have a, a good or bad game. So um, I mean, Ben and Ben and myself have both competed in the Magic UK Nationals, where the top four hundred people came uh, to a central location and battled out, and it was going to represent the UK in the the sort of Magic World Championships. So um, yeah, my my question. humble brag is I've been to a pro tour, so I qualified for a pro tour at Magic. Oh, nice. um, so I would say ben, ben is better than me at thinking. <laughs> it's it's like fantasy chess. What I'm very good at is actually fantasy reading. <laughs> what I'm very good at is actually building the decks. So when my friends and I, Greg and I play together, uh, if we're playing, I'm very hard to be beaten at limited just because I'm very good at putting these things together combos. The you know if I have to play a game, I don't always think two steps ahead, three steps ahead. Um, it, I, it's, it's quite hard to think about every interaction. What if I do this? What's that person? It's, it's not just knowing what you've got. It's thinking that person. I know this person's playing this deck. What are the op what options do they have on their, their next turn, based on what they have on the board and what they've got in their hand? How many cards they've got? And kind of predict what they're going to play. And therefore, I want to be able to counter that. And there's a very good player online that I watch called CGB Convert Go Blue, and I think his ability to read the game is just phenomenal you know he 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 anticipates every move of the game because he knows all the decks and what i love is when he goes on to mythic ladder with a janky deck and just rips people up <laughs> and the good news is for you guys looking really blank now listening to alexis gone about that is <laughs> with the transformers <laughs> card game you can just bring it back to giant robots smashing into each other no nice. um you know that's so my level if, right there yeah you can get as deep <laughs> as alexis wants in this game but the a base level is you're just smashing transformers like and so what, um, fighting Megatron. Where are we up to? So are we on um I forgot what they call expansion? Are you on expansion five? 
we're on expansion five so they come out about every four months three or four months um and as i said they started in 2018 the first set was not really it was just lots of different robots they had optimus megatron the dinobots the second set that came out was combiners themed so it's around mm. the combiner wars and you had the combiner mechanics so you can actually form devastator you can form predaking out of your squads you had to collect and, them all didn't you because i think i've got one i think i've got um part of there you go. Uh, yeah, that's that's Grimlock. part of, uh, of, of something that should never over. exist in toy form ever, which is the combined <laughs> yeah, he's uh, awful. I'm so glad the beast. Yes. Volcanus. Yeah. Vol Volcanicus. Yes. That's it. Volcanicus. What's, um, what's your what's your tactic when you play, Ben? What, do you have a tactic? Do you have a, a team that you you go with, or do you just go with the flow? So I tend to, because I've played Magic a lot, tend to be on the defensive side of things. So a team that mm -hmm. will absorb more damage and you know like fire some pinpoint damage back the other way and grind grind their opponents down um but at the moment with wave five and the headmasters the best uh, decks at the moment are very aggressive they're just trying to do as much damage and to destroy the other people's people's robots as quickly as I like possible. it you're a demir so, player but you're playing mono red <laughs> exactly exactly it's all that and it swings and turns um, and we had two sets based on Siege, so Wave 3 and 4 were based on the Siege toys, um, mostly with some other characters. We've got loads of little micro-machines, but the great thing about the game is they completed all the micro, uh, the micro Master squads. So, you know, we only got like half of them in toy form, which yeah. is so frustrating. They actually, in the game... Now. Yeah, James. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. week. But, but you had the sports car patrol, the off-road patrol. They they actually made all of the the members of the squads in the card game, which was nice. And they're all yeah. all the cards are still relevant. You, they, they haven't sort of. I know in Magic, there's so many cards they rotate them every every sort of eighteen months. Yeah, um, that's the that's based, the based one on thing everybody's quite worried about at the moment. Yeah, um, they said it's not happening this year. But you reach a certain point where it's too difficult for the designers to think of all the possible combinations to balance the new cards that are coming out. Um, and much like the Transformers 86 movie, every now and again, they need to kill off some of the old so that you'll buy the new. Um, so uh, eventually there will be some kind of rotation, but it's not happening this year. And as I said, the game's relatively cost efficient to play so that the pain of that happening won't be too bad when it comes. And what's the, the interesting, the the interesting thing like? Um, sorry, Carol. Sorry, what are the car counts like? So, how many cars did we have for? So you get uh, you get about sixty battle cards. So the smaller cards that you can put in your decks. Uh, like in total, then, so how many cards in total is there to collect? Oh, so far, um, so there's probably about eight hundred ish. If you include the robots and the cards, there's probably wow. about eight hundred different pieces of cardboard you could collect. That's not too many then. There's not that many. Yeah, I mean, Magic's up to about forty thousand, I think now. Or so, something. so Mag Mag Magic releases a new a forty thousand. Sort of yeah. Do you know people? Yeah. Do you know people who have complete collections? No. Oh God, yeah, there are some people that really? want to. Yeah, yeah, some people. Wow. Must be, some yeah. people wow. There are less now because of the competitive element, but there are some people that the so, most important thing is just to own one of each card. Yeah. So the really cool thing about Magic, right, which which I enjoy, is, is that each of the actual sets represents a particular um, world or a particular uh, like a a, um, a chapter in the book, and the cards actually dictate a part of the story. So there, yeah. if you go oh. on online, there are certain people actually tell the stories, and the pictures actually wrote they actually follow a particular order of a story. So each of the actual sets actually follow a particular story, and they and they follow on from each other. So if you go back. You're going back in time, and so the reason sets rotate is because characters and things happen; they die off as well. So you go into different different worlds, or what they're called planes, and you get different characters and different different storylines. It's yeah. around. It's more that, difficult that, 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 for them to do in the Transformers game, but the yeah. flavor, as yeah. you would say, comes on the robots. So mm. Mind Wipe, for example, his mechanics let you target your opponent's hand to get rid of cards out of their hand because he's controlling their mind and stuff, and. Um, Bomb bombshell for example can discard a number of cards out of his hand when he attacks to kill off their opponent's card because he's taken control of it with his you know mind gun thing whatever it is that he cerebral uses. Cerebral. <laughs> there you go cerebral. his cerebral yeah, yeah um so they put those onto the cards so the cards do actually bring some of the flavor of what you would expect from from the cards the, like, the one question uh, i have does... um, a question i have is like from doing sports um, when I used to do racing, you know, rowing racing, and that's on the river and stuff like that, we had etiquette where you weren't allowed to beat the person by too much. You know, you oh, could not. No. Yeah, so if you, 
and a lot of people would argue about this, and usually it's people who are wankers who didn't have a clue about sports and didn't know how to compete. But if you won by too much, you would be disqualified because you were deliberately rubbing it into them. And I just wondered, do you have an etiquette in this game where if you're winning, you're not to do it too heavily? Before you answer that, Ben, I've, I've, I've seen people in Magic when you play one card and they're just quick because they know your deck. <laughs> so... <laughs> This is mostly held in good fun. As I said, you're smashing your robots into their robots and stuff. Um, the great thing about this is, is if your opponent was a dick, you just don't play it with them again. <laughs> and, and the games are over in about the games are over in about 15 minutes. Each game lasts about 15 yeah. minutes. So yeah, if your opponent's just somebody who's a right asshole, you just choose not to play with them again. So yeah. you, to be honest, you don't get, you don't actually get that many asses. You get a lot, you get a few no. So in my time playing Magic and, and this is all so I say with, you don't get that many dicks. You get a lot. You get a few know it alls. Yep. But yep. It, yeah. no, no one's ever right. And again, luck does bring a lot to it because obviously you've got a random deck and you're pulling off the top. Yeah. It's like you know what's what you know, and you and you watch it watch the Pro Tour sometimes. I and feel you, like buying some cards. Yeah, you hear I the do. commentators, and you say like, <laughs> I if kind of want to get into magic. The and they know that, and they, and they know, and they know, and they know that. They go, if he pulls this one, if, if he pulls, yeah. if he pulls this one card off, right, he's he can turn it around, and he get and the, and he pulls the card. Off, oh, everyone goes nuts behind, and and his opponent doesn't know, and it's like, oh so good <laughs> so i am gonna have to it's been amazing talking to you and this has been so much fun but i am unfortunately going to have to wrap up and, and leave you as well oh, yeah, um, no, sorry, no, we there's a smell of dinner off. coming from downstairs no, that's same quite here. enticing yeah <laughs> i'm watching no, that's brilliant listen thank you so much i'll put the link to the facebook groups uh, both the uh, buy sell and trade and um, your group as well uh, in the yep. description but it's the been community fantastic. is super friendly if you're new or you have any questions and you come on there there's there's no silly questions just ask away and everybody would be more than willing to help you guys out no, that's brilliant thank, thank you so much ben lots of fun uh, i'm thank gonna you, ben. end recording so don't forget um, you can go on to uh, facebook and find us the transformers podcast uh, also you can ask your uh, smart speeder uh, smart speeder smart speaker to uh, uh, do the transformers podcast and we will come up uh, on any device thank you so much for joining us today and that is it goodbye bye